Go Kira. Boom. Okay, ready? Rolling sound? Speed. Good. Mark it. Boom. Unreal. Print it. <laughs> Buy over it. So we are on the set of Porcelain. Um, so the story behind Porcelain is it's loosely based around my own mother's story. Porcelain's a story about love, family and a new beginning. And it follows the story of a young Vietnamese refugee girl upon her arrival in Australia in the 1980s. Uh, this film explores how the primitive years of childhood are crucial to developing moral standards and teaching understanding and acceptance. Porcelain is a cultural film that explores just what the Vietnamese people like my mother had to face at that time. Uh, and for a while I've wanted to tell this story and here we are and back to the video. This is the first short film being shot out of the three of ours. But yeah, first day, we've literally loaded in all the gear. We're actually doing pretty well for time. It's about 9 a.m. right now. Um, we're about to do our first scene, which is a dinner scene um, in this beautiful kitchen. But yeah, we've got a bunch of crew here. We've got four days ahead of us. And uh, yeah, we're getting started now. We should be shooting soon. And um, Angela had <laughs> <laughs> Got the cameras. <laughs> Jordan, I am the gaffer on porcelain. Today we're setting up the night scene. So what we're doing is we're blacking out all these windows here. Um, we have child actors so we can't actually shoot at night. So this is our workaround. The main key light here is an aperture 300X with a lantern dome on it and we're just skirting off the sides, getting a nice controlled light in the middle. We're gonna have some practicals around the place to just give pops of color a bit more light to the scene and maybe even stream a little bit of light through the windows, just getting a bit of like a moonlight fill almost. Keeping it pretty cool for the most part. Lovely. Anyway, I'm Max Kersley. I'm the co-producer of Porcelain, along with Nikita, who you'll meet later. They're all currently in there setting up, I hope. Well, no, <laughs> we, we got actual Sorry. work to do. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've got some great actors in. We've got uh, Kira, our lead child actor, playing Han, who's incredibly talented for such a young age. And then our other family actors who are all in today. We've got some family scenes going on. We've got the dinner scene and then a scene with the parents when they come home a bit later. So it should have to be a pretty cruisy day. And yeah, let's do it. Cool. So yeah, we're setting up the new the new setup. There's a whole bunch of lighting now. This is made to look like early afternoon. Um, so we'll have like beam lights coming through. We'll have just like the afternoon sun. What looks like yeah, we don't have many shots, so we're just getting them in while the parents are still here. But uh, yeah. It's a, uh, it's a Nick Smith job now to get the, um, Smitty, get the lighting up. Right now. I'm here for morale. He's just off the energy. You're not providing much right now. Give me yeah, something. The energy. lowest Give energy. Give me something. Give me something. Nick is being like, he's been 30 it's odd it's years, it's years it's mate. It's all completely <laughs> f***ed. Um, <laughs> everything's, everything's, going, everything's going downhill. Uh, we're behind. There's no food. No food showed up. Um, no water. What do you mean no food? The sun. Completely ruined. Ruining every shot. Um, I heard everything was over exposed. Someone didn't hit record on the audio. So, um, it's in the bin. It's in the bin. <laughs> we've, got a, we've got a sky panel pushing through here. We've got a big frame. I think that's an eight by we've got. Just covering the whole window, getting some nice diffuse light through here. And we've got an aperture, I believe that's a 300D with a gel on it. And that's shown through here. We've got most of this closed. We've just left one open. So then you can see there's a bit of a slew of light coming through here. Just some nice shape. And then back here, we've got uh, another sky panel pushing through here just for some nice kind of ambient glow. And then we've got another 300X pushing into the back wall. This is how we're getting this nice shape here. Because there's a lot of movement through the scene. So we figured that we basically want to light 360 so we can you know, move quickly through everything and still have it look nice. So, yeah, that's uh, the daytime setup. Uh, yeah. All right, listen, so, we just wrapped day one. I was really happy, everyone absolutely killed it. We had the whole family in today. Um, you know, all the lighting steps were insane. Um, Kelvin on camera was unbelievable. 
So yeah, we're ready for tomorrow. Uh, we'll do that. And um, yeah, and Anne has something to say. Uh, <laughs> hashtag YOLO. Oh. oh. That one. <laughs> Alright, so second day of Pawson right now. But yeah, we're in the courtyard at Site Works in Brunswick and um, we're just smashing through the shots. We've got about 16 extras to be school kids, they're all in school uniforms now. And um, yeah, I mean, the footage already is looking crazy. Um, time's probably not on our side right now, but that's alright. Yeah, we're just smashing it out, so let's get it. Check it out. large format camera options um, and it's yeah, Walt and I's camera that we bought very recently so we're sort of a, the insurance policy today. My name is Nikita Cronus, I am co-producer on this set of Porcelain. Right now we are getting a lot of the courtyard scenes uh, which is supposed to replicate a school. Everything's going really well so far, we're going to break for lunch in around 15 minutes and uh, yeah, couldn't, couldn't have wished for a better um, start to this shoot so hopefully the next few days also continue on this great moment. <laughs> So we've gone upstairs now, we've moved into this uh, corridor, hallway, locker bay thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, so essentially what it is, is the character, she's looking for a doll, so she's looking through all the bags that Chloe's put here. Uh, and um, yeah, so we just have a few shots to get here, to sort of feel some natural light through this side. We've got two sky panels, a 300, and then a 600D with a F10 Fresnel, which is sort of creating a spotlight on the character. Yeah, after that, it's a wrap for today, and it'll be good, on to the next. So day two porcelain wrapped, um, Cam smashing, especially all the child extras, that was a bit challenging at times, but Challenge got through Maxie. it, got through it. Yeah. Day three tomorrow, back at Henry's house in Caulfield. And we're going to be there. Excited. And we're going to be there. What time are we, we call tomorrow? 8 a.m. Oh, it's it's, it's chill. It's, it's better too. It's not bad. Time to get some sleep, and we'll see you tomorrow. Nice. Hey guys, welcome to day three on the one house set for slave. Cameron Run Mitchell mm. from Porcelain. From Tell Porcelain. us about the film. It's good. It's good. It's all coming along well. Thanks, Cam. See you next time. <laughs> right, so uh, we're on the second day of Porcelain right now. Sorry, third day, my bad. No, it's too many. But <laughs> we're back in the um, late Arvo lighting setup for the kitchen. She's washing dishes. We're getting just like this beautiful old looking light on her. Um, but just then, we just got a shot uh, from outside the window, looking in, but thing is, it's upstairs, so we've got a really high window. So we had to chuck Kelvin with the uh, Mini LF with an easy rig on top of a ladder. With spotters, of course. Yeah, we're just lining up the room with two S60s. Um, it's looking real soft, real nice. Um, and yeah, we're just in that room the whole day, so um, just altering lighting setups, making them the best as they can, and getting through it. Boom. My name's Chloe, I'm the production designer. Um, on porcelain, obviously. Um, I did all that set in there, if we've seen it. Come with me. Um, over here we've got some old, kind of nice these props. Up there are perfume bottles. This is an antique clock from the 80s. Um, it makes a really nice chime. Maybe we'll hear it later. 
Uh, and this is actually an old stereo system. We've got Venetian blinds, which allows us to get really nice light through. Uh, I installed them in. Plates and stuff back in the 1980s as well. This is one of the porcelain ones. This is the other one. This is unfortunately going to be broken at some point, so get nice pictures of this while we can. Those are actually Cam's grandparents, and we were really lucky enough that his mom gave us these to use in the setting. It kind of adds another layer of meaning to the film as well. We bought this fridge. We've got this fridge in. This is actually from the 80s, and it works. It still works miraculously. Um, and then we've also got sewing kit up there and all of our little decorations. Yeah. And don't forget about the beautiful ceiling that comes with the location. Thankfully. Now Chloe did that herself actually. <laughs> I wish I did it myself. <laughs> I went up there and I did that. Um, yeah. Welcome. Yes sir. My dog. Alright, last shot of the day. Let's get it done. So we're on the hi-hat, which I can 100mm zoom on because that looks crazy with the vignettes on the side. And we're just getting a long shot down this footpath over here of them walking home from school in their school uniforms. And then, yeah, we'll smash that out. And once that's done, that's today done. Literally just then was all good. Yeah, just okay, because that one was the best one. Yo, oh, that's, rap? that's a wrap. Yeah, Boom, shit. unreal. Boom, oh, unreal. Just print it. And dang. Just print that. Oh, hey, are you wondering how my last day on set went? Well, in my humble opinion, it was really, really good. And it was really nice to work with director Mr. Cam Mitchell here. And yeah, that's a wrap on me. I really enjoyed my time on set. And I can't wait to work at One House again. Peace out. On the fourth day of porcelain, um, yeah, we're shooting in the school, so we've got extras again, but that's chilling. Um, yeah, we just smashed through the shots, we've got about 48 shots to get through, but it's all good because we've got the team for it. And um, yeah, you know, stressful day, but we'll get through it. Cam's killing it. Mm. Love it. These are my kids. Look about the lighting, bro. Look about the lighting. So today we've got today we've got uh, quite a bit of a setup. We're shooting at the site works today. We're shooting in a classroom. So what we've got is we've got two S60s outside, two massive sky panels, and then we've got an aperture 600D blasted through the back window. That's given us a nice bit of shape over there. And then on the other side of the room, we've got a bunch of. Uh, negative fill blocking out these windows and blocking out some bounce. We've got travelling neg fill there and then we've got uh, a Nova punching through a, um, a scrim. I think just like four wires thereabouts. And then we've got um, a spotlight mount here that we're just doing for a bit of shape um, just across the, the lead talent. So quite, quite the setup today and I'm very excited about it. It took a while. Um, Finn and um, Nick put in the hard yards getting these lights uh, up in the background. Obviously couldn't ask for a better crew. They are incredible. Oh, stitch up. Whoa. We're not sleeping. Whoa. The producers are awake. Whoa, we are always hard. working very hard. Day four. Day, Day four. four. Want to go after this? We're not done yet. We're not done. We're not done yet. We gotta keep things. 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 Get back to work. See that? See, that's, See. that's how we keep midline. That's how we use people. That's how we have to. Move to the Cool, we're about to reset, let's do it. Very stressful, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have been stressed, we're pressed for time, we've got a lot of shots left, but we're doing it. Okay, and action done. Morning class. And cut, let's print it. So, day four, awesome. We've wrapped. Big day, big stressful day. We're all done. Finn, Finn's tired, but Finn smashed it today. Thanks, It's the first bit of compliments I've given him in six months. Uh, on to the last day tomorrow. And um, 
Yeah, it should be such a chill day. We've got one scene to shoot in the whole day. So it will literally be the polar opposite of what we were doing before. But um, yeah, I'm feeling good. I need to get some sleep and then let's, uh, let's end on a high note tomorrow. So let's do it. Okay, so today is day five of Porcelain. It's the final day of shooting. Um, we're blessed with only one scene today, but it's a very dialogue heavy scene. So that's why we've dedicated a whole day to it. But that's good for setups and stuff. I'm very keen. The actors are all ready. And um, yeah, only about 25 shots to get today. So this will be good. Let's see how it goes. I'm excited. And we start shooting in about three minutes. Hi, my name's David. Um, I'm playing Quan today. Last night on set, so bittersweet, you know. I'm getting some makeup done on my hands at the moment. Just, you know, some little wounds from my work. So I work at a steel factory, so adding those extra effects, I guess. Yeah. So right now we're putting fake blood on Kira's hands because she supposedly cut her finger with scissors. So what we're going to do is Maria is pulling all this blood into her hand so that when she grabs it, it leaks through her fingers. taking the time out of your week to honestly come in and bring this vision to life literally every single one of you could not have we couldn't we couldn't have done without a single one of you is what I think I'm trying to say <laughs> but, beautiful, but I'm honestly it's 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 so beautiful seeing everyone work together I couldn't have asked for a better crew you're all so incredibly talented and uh, yeah thank you is really all I can say I, I'm, I'm, I'm speechless I'm Ben Reid from Winehouse, thanks for coming along, this is Porcelain Day 5, we just wrapped, uh, thanks for watching, remember to like, comment and subscribe. <laughs> uh, let's go with that, that was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the nun house, it's the one house, yeah that's the fun house, with the good sounds and the good clips. If you got bits of dreams you want to make sure you don't hesitate, hit up this crew. Did she just